In the name of survival, let's continue on with the suffering. But it doesn't have to suffer as much. You know, in survival, you can't just get into something and then survive. You gotta do some work. So usually when you have a shelter, you improve upon it subsequently throughout the days. And then on this one, when I was a little bit cold last time, I could see that space up above. I kinda knew and hoped I still would warm that up, but it seemed like that was just a little bit too much dead air space. So I fixed that this time. I stuffed a whole bunch more grass in all around, so I added about this much more insulation. It's more of a cocoon. There's a better door plug. We keep stuffing insulation in, checking, and I think the name of the game is the air coming in. You wanna block the air coming in. Just like with our Arctic shelters, you need to have a door plug. If you dig a snow cave, that doesn't mean you're automatically warm. You need to have a door plug with a vent hole to keep that warmer air inside your shelter. Otherwise, it's just gonna get blown out, no matter what. So this one, I think we have it figured out, and we knew what we had to do. <laughs> Still need to stuff a bunch of grass up in here, way up in there. All down here, we did a pretty good job. Stuffed it in tight, but you can always use more. Let's just keep doing it. Gaps, gaps everywhere, fill the gaps. Avoid the voids. Time to get ready to settle in for the night. Snakes are starting to wake up, I think. We have rattlesnakes around here, so you want to make sure. You'll hear them, that's for sure. They're in there. I've never had anything like that, but they're not aggressive. Got down to freezing last night. 42 right now. It's going to get close to freezing again tonight. Here's the improvements. Lots of grass all around. Did I say I grow weary of collecting grass? Don't just walk back with this amount. You're gonna waste all your energy. Get all the grass out of my pockets. The good part about having holes in your pocket is the grass just goes down your leg into your boots. So let's get in. Okay, everything's good. I could pull more in if I needed to. Nighty night. Same clothes as before. Let's get all zipped up. Minimize the straw coming in and the hay coming in the pockets. Seal the door off. There's where my feet are. All nice. And surrounded by hay. It's all covered in nicely still. And then what we have is a meat thermometer probe. So this thing's pretty accurate even when it just exposed the air. And stick it in, probe other spots. I try not to probe myself. And we'll try and determine the temperature of what's in here pretty accurately. So this was just my pocket. It says it's 63 right now. It's not that, you can see it's starting to go down already. So we'll turn it back on in a little bit. Probe's just right up here. We're at 55 degrees right now. That's pretty nice. Got this hay around my legs. That's feeling good. That's actually helping a little bit. It's nice and warm in here. 
And I think that's from being a little bit warmer today with the sun being on it. I think that helped out. But regardless, not feeling a draft. Feeling pretty good. See if we can get some sleep. And then see how we feel later on in the night. All right, good night. It's 12.47. Just slept from 10 to now. So that's nice. And it says it's 54 degrees right up here. It still feels a tiny bit chilly in here. But can't have everything, can you? But it still, it still feels good when you have, you know, some hay on you. I'll try and put a little bit up on my shoulder. But it's going good so far. It's right at four in the morning. Slept until four, so that's good. Woke up real quick at one. Fell back asleep. Use this probe. Put it next to my skin, the meat thermometer probe, but not touching. So through the hay, it's gonna be nice and warm. Still a decent amount of space to heat up, but that's not ridiculous. I think the it's just hard for your body to heat up space. <coughs> I'm gonna call that good at sleeping until four. Got some good sleep tonight. Let's head on out. Good morning. Here's what I wore. I had just these pants on again. These boots, there's a little bit of insulation in these boots. Make sure that they're completely unlaced. You know, not making any restrictive properties to them whatsoever. I zipped up all my pockets, try and minimize the grass going into there. But it was the best night I had in this thing. Slept from 10 o'clock until 4 o'clock, only waking up twice. Right around, right at 1 o'clock, I put a little bit of grass on my shoulder because it was starting to get cold up above. But as I used my temperature probe and I my meat thermometer, just probing all around, I would put it in the hay, and it was right around 55 or 60 degrees around my body. So it was 38, 40 degrees last night. I still wouldn't want to just lay on the ground and sleep on that, just in this. Just with this jacket, this wool thermal, wool shirt, and this jacket, I don't want to just want to lay on the ground. So having this shelter here was real nice. But with this, the door was better, everything was better, more grass than the inside. The thing I don't like about it is all the dust that happens inside there. There's dust, you wake up, your snot is black that it comes out. So that's just how it is. When you have less that's moving around, like when it's all around you and piled all around you, then you get a lot more dust. And it's always falling on your face and poking you just a little bit and then you kind of just move your hands and then just fall back asleep. But that can be kind of a pain, you get used to it. But it's, it's survival. Survival is survival, it's not laying in your bed at home. And just like we kept improving upon it, we made it better every single day. I really appreciate you watching. We'll keep surviving. <laughs>